hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i want to show you how to make chicken basket this is a real french traditional recipe and it's very delicious and easy to make so these are the ingredients i will be using i got three pieces of chicken laps garlic green and red bell pepper oregon spicy salt paprika pepper and tin tomato you can use the fresh one if you got i don't have the fresh tomato that's why i'm going with this one and white wine and some parsley fresh parsley yeah so these are the few things we need to make this this is so lovely and it's so delicious and yeah it's really a french traditional meal so guys let's get into it. first you want to season your chicken with some salt Pepper, and paprika. So I got my onion wet slice, the green bell pepper, and the red one. And this is my sliced garlic. Okay, I have my pan on the fire, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my oil. I just add a bit of oil, then go on in, add my chicken. This is my seasoned chicken. You want to make sure you separate them so are not together so I'll just go on and have all the spices on it you can see it looks so beautiful so I'll leave it for 10 to 15 minutes and keep it aside So I'm gonna go on and babysit my chicken. Must make sure you you turn it regular to avoid overgrid. Okay, so here is my chicken. You can see it's red green. Look at the color. Golden brown. So I'm going to set this aside. Yeah, this is how it looks. Okay, I will still use this uh, sauce. So I'm gonna add my onion to the saucepan. Baby, sit it a bit. Then I'll go on and add my garlic. So I'm going to babysit it a little bit so make sure it's caramelized. You really want to make sure the onion caramelized properly. Okay. 
so I'm gonna add my pepper so I'm gonna add a pinch of salt turn it properly So my onions are well caramelized. I'm going to so I'm going to add the red bell pepper and the green pepper, the green red pepper. I'm going to turn it properly. You can see how beautiful this looks like. So I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit and cover it. And let it simmer for about five minutes. Okay, so here it is. Look at look at those colors. Look at how beautiful it is. So, so I'm gonna go on and add this my tin can tomato. This is the one I'm using. It's a French product. Just add it. You can see that. So you can see how beautiful this is really turning up. You can use fresh tomato if you got one. If you don't have, just look for a good quality canned tomato to use. So I'll just babysit a little bit. Just gonna cut these tomatoes into pieces. it comes up so I'm gonna go on and add my white wine this is the one I'm using so just add a bit of white wine in it gonna turn it so I'm gonna let it simmer for 10 minutes then I add up my chicken okay so I'm gonna go ahead and place in my chicken you can see how beautiful it is that is really 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 beautiful add up some of those Prices. This is really, really delicious, and it smells so delicious. Okay, here so I go on and add my can thing tomato. I'm gonna add a bit of my chicken blood. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of Oregon, just a little bit. You can see how this is. This is so lovely. Mm -hmm. 
So I bring it to boil. So I'm going to go ahead and cover it and turn down the heat and let it simmer for about 35 to 40 minutes. Then it's ready to serve. While it's boiling, I have my rice prepared. This is the one I'm using. It's Uncle Bear's rice. It is such a so I'm gonna drop three pack such of rice. So after about 35 to 40 minutes, this is what I got. You can see how beautiful this turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of parsley, and it's all ready to serve. It's so beautiful and delicious. So you can actually serve this with rice, potato, spaghetti. It all goes down well. So you can see how beautiful this is. So guys, this is my poulet basket. This is the French traditional recipe. As you can see, it's so gorgeous, so beautiful, and it's so delicious. This is it. I hope you really enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for stopping by and I will see you next time.